So folks, today we're going to be looking at do drilled and slotted brake riders such as these that I got from uh, Detroit Axle actually make a difference on your diesel? I'm going to say yeah. Just because, um, you know, ceramic pads and all that and drilled and slotted rotors, they're just good. They're just good stuff. So if you were to look here at this rotor, this is what a stock uh, Super Duty rotor looks like. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, this one's rusty, but you know, the design, there's nothing wrong with it. Next to this, well, it looks like it'll perform better. I only got fronts because I only need front brakes. Uh, I just put rear brakes on it about 2,000 miles ago, and I will be damned if I spend another $200 on rear brakes when I just spent $150 on them. This kit was... I want to say it was around $250 and it does come with some dot three fluid and you know some brake clean and all that which I really appreciate because I currently don't have any brake clean. Luckily it just rained so I'm going to be able to test the brakes I have now which are the smooth rotors that I just threw over there and then we're going to walk it off see how much uh, distance it took me to stop and we're going to install these uh, shouldn't take too long and we're going to see if my braking distance was reduced. Now, of course, with these rotors, I do have ceramic pads and I do have the new clips. It, it, yeah, any little condom wrapper of, uh, of grease here. I always appreciate that. Really nice kit. I got this off Amazon, I believe for $250. Okay, so I'm on my uh, test road here on completely private property in Mexico, closed course. And I am going to do a couple brake tests. I'm going to accelerate to 40 miles per hour and then I'm going to hit the brakes. This truck, however, is a early 99. It doesn't have four wheel ABS like the later generation Super Duties. Um, so your results may vary. It'll probably do better. Maybe put my hands on the wheel. Uh, no, I am not flooring it. I know it's a 7.3, but it ain't that slow. Okay, and there's 40 on the brakes. Okay, I can feel the ABS kick in there. about 60 feet to stop my truck from 40 to zero. I'm gonna drive this truck home now and see if I can do any better with the drilled and slotted rotors and ceramic brake pads. And if so, we're gonna see how much better. Okay, so I'm not wearing gloves to work on my truck. I gotta hide a body for Garth Brooks in a couple hours after this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the welds here. I already got um, the truck on jack stands. I can clear on my test drive that the brakes definitely need to change them. So we're going to pull these weld Scorpios off and uh, see exactly how bad my pads and rotors are. I don't think that this side's going to be too bad, but I think my driver's side's going to be, it, it's going to be bad. <sighs> yeah, that rotor's done. So. One of the bolts on the other side bought me, which is why today's video is sponsored by Anti-Seize. Use it, the dabble do you. Saves you tons of time in the future. But we're going to throw this baby back together, and we're going to see just how much better the uh, drilled and slotted rotors actually are. Now one quick tip, every time you install new rotors, make sure that you brake clean it. Because at the factory they're covered in oil to keep them from rusting or being contaminated. So, make sure you get the backs. There's nothing wrong with doing it on the truck. Some people might say different about that, but I've never had a problem. All right, so I have done both sides with the drilled and slotted uh, Detroit axle rotors with the ceramic brake pads. And all I have to do now is throw that weld wheel on and we will be good to go. Okay guys, so we're back here in uh, Mexico, at my personal uh, slice of it anyway, 
and we are going to accelerate to 40 miles per hour in my truck with the drilled and slotted rotors and ceramic brake pads this time and see just what they do compared to the stock ones. And coming up on it, and there's 40. online about these uh, rotors supposedly some of them were warped straight out of the pack and I, I don't I have a hard time believing that because I don't have any of that I've been I drove it up here and you know it doesn't like you can lightly press on it, it doesn't have any uh, doesn't have any warpage whatsoever all right I'm not even gonna walk that one out that that's obvious okay that was cut it in half or more you definitely do need drilled and slotted rotors on your truck especially because see I'm not hauling anything I really don't haul too much with this truck if you're hauling on a day-to-day -day basis that's that's a must-have just purely for safety it's an absolute must-have on these diesel trucks to have drilled and slotted rotors 